Tiporville is under threat. The pristine wetland is slowly turning into a wasteland as the Guwahati Municipal Corporation dumps all its waste in its vicinity. Once spread over 4,000 hectare, the wetland has now shrunk to 500 hectare and faces various natural and anthropogenic threats. The wetland is home to over 200 species of migratory birds, including the endangered greater adjutin stock. With the loss of nesting trees, widespread destruction and degradation of wetlands, vast expense of stinking garbage has become one of the favored breeding grounds of the rare bird. <laughs> Their primary food is uh, leftover things. That is why they are known as clarion eater. Clarion means they keep the uh, bad things clear from the environment. So they are known as clarion eater. And uh, sometimes because of mixing up of poison and other plastics or other non-consumable goods, food, they get killed. They get killed means they died because of the poison they consume. And that is happening around Deporville and garbage dumping run in the, near the Deporville. These are very occasionally happening. While the dumping ground was to be shifted to Chandrapur in November 2015, but till now, this has not happened. The garbage problem is that you know it's also associated with a legal you know battle uh, because nobody wants garbage centers to be near their home. So getting a suitable place away from human habitation near Guwahati is a major challenge. But I, I, am, I am aware that even governments are also, you know, the departments are exploring that. I think more public pressure is essential, uh, you know, to, to foster that, that, that process, you know, because uh, this garbage center is definitely having some, you know, detrimental effect, not only to the greater age of but also the fish and other populations. However, not very far from Guwahati, a small village called Dadra is scripting another story. A positive one for the creature. Flanked by food rich wetlands and brimming with tall trees, it became a perfect place for nesting. I am a little bit of 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 a not too long ago, however, the bird wasn't quite as welcome. It is a halgilahani, a har karane, subriata halaxi, a subriata hungry concorane, a shastata solease, by Hanequa, he no corre, bea, etia hile, a hilebilla marisilagoto. Once an object of revulsion, this not so pretty bird is now a matter of pride. The woman of the village formed Hargila Army for the bird's name in the Assamese language with the commitment and determination to battle against all odds in saving this endangered bird. They now weave scarves and other items in handlooms with motifs of the bird to create awareness among the need to protect the species. I salute those people who are giving shelters to these endangered or threatened birds, despite the fact that in breeding seasons they really do 
you know, little bit of dirtiness in their compass. But that is something I think they should be proud of in one way, that despite the challenges, you know, they are doing something which many educational people, educated people are highly qualified or highly probably, you know, uh, monetarily sound people cannot do. So salute goes to these people, they are the real unsung hero in the field of conservation. They ensure safety of the once relieved scavenger bird by providing nets to protect young stalks falling out of the nests during storms or windy days. However, no veterinary center nearby is a major concern. কিন্তু <laughs> আমি বহু দেরিয়াটা কইছিল টাক লাগি হয় না হবো বলি কইছি হসপিটাল আখন লাগে আমি এটা সিরাখানা লাগি পথাবা লাগে দূর হই যায় দূর হই গেলি সরাই তো বেশি কষ্ট পায় ও সর তো যেটা হসপিটাল আখন হয় তেটা আমার বেশি সুবিধা হয় ইন মিনস রেস্কিউ অফ দি চিকস অফ গ্রেটার এটুটেন স্টক নাও দা নিয়ারেস্ট ইন অফ ফ্যাসিলিটিস আর ইন দি স্টেচু অর ভেটেরিনারি কলেজ বাট ভেটেরিনারি কলেজ অলসো ডাজেন্ট হ্যাভ দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ ফ্যাসিলিটিস সো সিন্স देयर ইজ নো अदर ফ্যাসিলিটিস নিয়ার বাই ইউ নো দা অনলি অপশনস টু ব্রিং the chicks or the injured you know birds to the zoo is to get maximum benefit from the available veterinarians you know in in the state zoo but i think government can definitely think of even you know some ngos but you know but it has to be a sustainable you know you do one year and then second year you don't have funding then it again you know to collapse the whole whole process at the same time the villagers are anxious that their efforts won't be compensated সরকার পাই বহুত গছর পুলি দিছিল রোবার কারণে আমি সেও রুইছিল সেই পুলিও আছে আমার বস্তি তো আছে সেই পুলি সেনেকে সুবিধা দি পেলা আমি মানুষ এনে সেনেকে বুঝে নি দি পেলা রাখছো নহলে ইটাক লাগি অহা নাই আর সুবিধা অহা নাই কিন্তু আমি গছ কাটিলে যে চরার বিপদ হব সে আমি সুরক্ষা দি আসো আর নিজের ফলের পর আমি যে আর্মি হিসেবে কাম করে আসো আমি সেইখানে চরার কারণে করে আসো পদক্ষেপ কিন্তু একো নাই কিন্তু বহুখানি মহিলাই নহয় আমি মতা মানুহ এটা কয়ে আসল আমিও কয়ে আসল যে কিনা এটা সংরক্ষণ করার কারণে যে আবার গছবিল রাখার কারণে গছর মালিকক কমসে কম কিনা এটা বিনিময় দিয়ে তেতিয়া অলমান মানুষ ভাল পালা হল কিন্তু সে বিনিময় এটা গেলে একো নাই একো কারণে a leading wildlife ngo maintains a different view sometimes people also expect you know because they are sheltering birds or other animals you know they needs to be compensated or they needs to be rewarded you know rewards can be many many ways it could be acknowledging them in public it may be appreciating what they do or it may be in monetary terms but let me cite you know in there are examples in kokla belur in in karnataka where same you know problems like you know the villager sheltering uh, you know birds like pelicans or you know some other species of storks so they also started in providing monetary benefit but it became detrimental then you know people are have, you know on, from those areas i mean i don't know about our areas has started negotiating is doing some sort of a blackmailing you know because even ngos or governments are doing it is not because for the ngos or government we want birds to be safe not only for my ngos or for my family i want birds to be safe so that all the mankind human kind can see so you know means based on those experience you know nowadays in lot of areas in india you know that monetary you know means contributions for conserving wildlife areas has been discouraged because you know there are a lot of examples where it didn't work as you know during that time you know the people associated with those projects anticipated so there are you know pros and cons i am not saying that it may happen but then i think before going for that you know we really need to look at what what could be its pros and cons
whether compensated or not, Dadra is still working towards the conservation of the endangered bird. However, in a census conducted by early birds, an NGO working in the field of forest and wildlife portrays a complete different picture when it comes to Guwahati. Here, the numbers of the adjutant stalks are slowly falling. Altogether, 287, the highest number was recorded in 2002, and in 2010, the number was 113, the lowest so far in the past census. In all, 220 stalks were found in the 2018 census. If people of Assam do not give any importance to the greater adjutant stock, then it will definitely vanish from this uh, our atmosphere because uh, Myanmar has already lost its population. Cambodia is having only 150. Uh, besides Assam, Bihar is having 250 population, and other no other Indian states have, have uh, Hargilla population that is greater adjutant stock. Uh, that way, government needs to give put emphasis to make aware people so that Hargila remains with us for many years to come. Assam is considered the last global stronghold of the greater adjutant stock a threatened bird. Dadra village has set an example by taking ownership of protecting the species. But for the species to thrive, much more needs to be done. <laughs>